I got on the first bus I saw. You wanna go to Ailes, Mouth? Uh, yeah, why not? Not bothered about the rumours, then? No. They're getting ready for this seven year festival. You'll be a stranger in the village. So? The bus seemed to take hours climbing up the hills, but I suspect it was only a few miles as the crow flies. At times I could see the town I'd left behind in the valley below. Hills, mouth. Back in 30 minutes, if he get into trouble. The light was strange here. Plan 1. New place. Head towards nearest pub. Just a short walk back down the road. Rich neighbourhood. On some doors, blackbirds were hanging there. I'd seen it done with pheasants. Can you even eat blackbirds? The pub was okay, well used, empty for midday Saturday. I ordered a pint of stormy stout. The landlord walked over to me. <clears throat> You're not bothered about the uh, rumours then? No, <laughs> well, you know what to say about rumours. <laughs> the man nursing his beer looked up. Rich looking, but somehow dishevelled. Carols, I didn't believe the rumours. He's a drunk. This is a wealthy village. He had a good life. A nice place to live. I'd met a fair number of strange landlords in my time. But this one... <sighs> there seemed to be a threat in his words. I've been chosen to fog all my life, said the chap with the beer. I will be white boards within the month. The landlord looked at me. The farmers round here couldn't plant the seeds because of the crows eating them. The children went hungry. Our people died. We couldn't feed them. Lots of religions make sacrifices, and so do we. So we placed our dead on the moor. The crows ate well, and left the seeds alone. But then, screamed the chap drinking up the dregs of his beer. The landlord sneered. I was getting to that. The crows were happy for a while. Sell him. <sighs> the crows, the crows, well, they got a taste for human flesh. Living human flesh. The landlord pushed a beer towards me. Take the beer on the house. Hell, take his house. Take his wealth. His number's up. We give him seven years of unlimited wealth, anything he wanted. I could never leave the village. You took the deal. Time to give back. Your seven years is up. Look out the window. See those doors? With crows hanging from them. I nodded. They're the first ones. Easy to kill. But a war is coming. The blood crows are coming. We take some of them. They take one of us. Balance is restored. Then we celebrate. Oh, the uh, seven year festival. At that moment, the pub door burst open. A young man was pushed in. Followed by a mob. This one, we caught trying to steal a car. The biggest member of the mob pushed the young man forward, 
with the butt of a shotgun. Meet the new crow forgo. <laughs> hey, is it true I can have anything I like for the next seven years, yeah? Asked the young man. Yes. I'll be ancient by then. Live rich, die young. Bring it on. Who's he? At me. Asked a big guy with a shotgun. Thought you'd sent him. I had to get out of there. I moved towards the door, but the mob was in the way. The landlord cried out. Stop him, he knows everything. I saw the stairs. A sign read, balcony. I ran up the steps, two at a time. As I turned the corner, a shotgun blattered plaster off the corner of the wall. I kicked open the fire doors, ran for my life along the balcony. In the distance, I saw the bus going back down the hill. There was a garden below, a bit of a drop. Could hear the mob behind me. I jumped. The newly dug soil broke my fall, but not by much. I limped to the wall and somehow managed to crawl over. The bus was coming. Gunshot hit the wall where I'd just been. Falling onto the roadside verge, I rolled and limped to the bus. Hey, quickly lad, rows are coming, said the driver smiling. I looked up towards the pub. The mob were watching the crows fly overhead. They had more dramas to deal with than to be bothered with me. Back home I walked, or should that be I limped up my path? There was something black hanging from my door. Bird-like.